A food journal can be a powerful tool in creating long lasting changes to your nutritional or eating habits. Now, what exactly is a food journal? It is a list, a very detailed list or journal of what you ate and for bonus points, what time you ate, how you were feeling and where you ate. Now, when we think about creating long lasting change, we have to be able to document exactly what we are doing before that change can occur. We need to be able to develop patterns and see what habits are already in place before we can start implementing strategies for change. So there are so many benefits of a food journal, but I'm going to take you through my favorites. The first is that it helps you to remember exactly what you ate. Now, often when we have a food binge or uncontrolled urges to eat, uh, and we go through a period of just eating everything that's in sight, we want to forget that as soon as it happens. So we don't really want to remember what we ate, there's often guilt associated with this emotional eating cycle. Now, by documenting it, it makes it real. You are documenting exactly what you ate uh, and putting it on a piece of paper. Now, this can be really powerful because all of a sudden, those habits that you're trying to hide or forget about, they're on paper and there can be an actionable change that occurs. The second is that you can start to learn certain eating pat patterns that might be occurring. Perhaps you are eating most of your food after 9 p.m. Perhaps you're always really, really hungry after lunchtime. These sort of patterns can really help to determine what changes need to be made uh, and the best strategies to implement to create that change. The next is that we can review any shortcomings in your diet. Perhaps you're always tired. Uh, by reviewing a food journal, we can start to see that you might be really under eating and you just don't have enough energy in the day, or you might be low in iron. Flowing on from that, we're also able to determine any potential malnourishment or lack of micronutrients. So we can see from a diary that potentially you're just eating the same fruit and veg every day, week in, week out. Potentially you're not eating any fruit and veg at all. So we can really start to determine where we need to be slotting in different types of food to make sure that you're getting everything that your body needs to be as healthy as possible. So at Blue Malad Health with our nutrition coaching, a food journal is often the first thing that we will prioritize. We won't ask for any change to occur, simply that you journal your day. This allows us to reflect on a week, two weeks, a month of eating and start to slot in some really easy long-term strategies to get you to your health goal. Whether that be looking at a uh, a hunger scale, whether that be looking at tracking food more closely. There's so many strategies we can implement to create that positive change. So if you're looking to change your nutritional habits, I highly recommend a food journal. Uh, the journal can be for your eyes only, nobody needs to see it. So be as honest as possible and really put down as much detail so that you can review and reflect using your journal as a bit of a library to reflect on. And you can also start to see some nice positive changes that occur as the months progress.